Number four question. Why are you here? The beautiful lady out there told me why she's here. She's a mover and shaker. She's going to impact women in her time. Why are you here? Trust me, you're not here for the degree. You are not here for the car. You're not here for the house. When you die, none of those fit into your casket, first of all. Just as you came here with nothing, you're going to leave with nothing. But two friends died 10, 10 weeks ago, 10 months ago, 10 years ago. Why are you still here? A, a friend of yours died uh, last month, three months ago, five years ago. Ten. Why are you still here? Do you think you're still here just to go through the motions? Hey, hell, how you doing? <laughs> you having a good day so far? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's put this up here. Oh, baby, oh, what do you need? Oh, you want some food? You think that's why you're here? No. You are here because each and every one of you have a calling. It's not about the children. Some of us, we feel like when we're married, we've landed. We get into the marriage and then we start getting mad about him leaving the socks on the floor. Why can't you pick up your underwear? Didn't you want to get married? Why am I doing everything? Didn't you want to get married? Some people think, oh, let me have children. And the children, my friend has three already. Ah, why am I not conceiving? You start checking the calendar. This population. The children come and you're still not happy. Some of you feel, oh, when I get that big job, you get to the job, you're mad at everybody. What in the world, what did I come into? So all these outside things is not what it is. What it is, is inside of you. Why are you here? Find that there's a reason why you're here. And sometimes when that thing comes, it stirs you up that you're working day and night, night and day, without even knowing. You don't even see time passing you back. But because you're so much into that thing. But you know what you do? At about 11 o'clock you go to bed, 5 a.m. in the morning, you wake up, you've forgotten that thing you were thinking about. It's as though you take those dreams, those aspirations, those things you really want to do, and you sweep them under the carpet. They never ever come into fruition. So I ask you again today, why are you here? Whatever reason it is, dig it up. It's the gifts and the talents that God gave to you. You came with it the day you showed up here. It's in everything you do. Some of you are great artists. When I mean art, painting, drawing, sewing, all these things come to you naturally. Handicraft, it comes naturally. But do you know what you do? You go to work every day. You don't even sew. You don't even try to paint. You don't even try to even write. You don't do nothing. You just go to work. Work, 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 work. Before you know what, you're 65. Yeah. See, I want to have you people, eh? I think they said that at the end day, he will say, well done, my good. Is it not what they said in the Bible? be your story well done my good and faithful servant or would it be oh I was so busy working taking care of the husband and the children pursuing my career making money and driving the big cars that's why I didn't use it Lord would that be the story find it whatever it is and start today you don't need a plan. Remember faith? Faith is the evidence of what? Things not seen. You don't have to see it. Some of you are less you see the report. The spreadsheet. No, you don't need to see it. 
just go ahead and do what you must do.